I'm Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. What in the world is Amy doing here? Previously on Sonic Adventure 2. I need to focus on finding that black hedgehog who looks like my shadow. He's somewhere on this island. I know it. I'm wasting my time here. I'll trick the military guards and bust out of this joint. Does this mean that I'm a deserter now? It's actually a really good question, Sonic. Wow. It's weird in this game because you spend most of the time as the good guys fighting the military. Which is unusual for a children's game about a cartoon hedgehog, but whatever. I love this stage, especially the music. There we go, that's where we were last time. I just figured we'd stop again, because I wanted to check my audio anyway, make sure it's been good these past two episodes, and... I figured that I'd go ahead and, uh do one of those re little recap sections. It's tempting to do them every time because I love listening to them, but I realized that would probably get pretty old with me exiting the game after every single level. Have you tried using the light to collect all the rings suspended? No, I haven't yet, but I will once you shut up, Omochao. Omochao is the worst. He's like Fee from Skyward Sword before Fee existed. Actually, Fee's probably worse. Because she actually stops the gameplay in order to tell you shit that you don't want to know. Whereas Omochao at least has the decency to float beside you while you're running at top speed. Eh. There we go. Oh yeah, that was hella tight. That was good, as they call it, as the kids say. They're always telling, you know, their parents, Mom and Dad, you don't know what good is. You don't understand my generation. God, I'm fucking stupid. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh shit, I missed the alternate path over there. Oh well. I'm still doing pretty good. In fact, the level's almost over. And it's only been a couple of minutes. Well, a minute and 34 seconds according to the in-game clock. And yeah, there we go. We got on the rocket with time to spare. You always see those rings render at the end. I don't know if you can actually get those, or what. And he hops off before he can go to space, unfortunately. Because that would be really cool. Yes! Got another free life! Shit, I'm bouncing everywhere in this bitch. This hallway. This bitch of a hallway. And we're done! 2 minutes, 14 seconds. Just under 15. Yeah. Wonder if we did halfway decent on that level too. Eh. Just made it. I think I normally get like a D on that stage too, so it's still better than expected. And it means that I got B, B, and C for the first three levels. So no. I know I got an A. So I got B, B, so far, so A, C. Wow. I'm doing pretty good. That blue hedgehog again, if this places. if this game was a class, oh god. Faker, Faker. I, like it. I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Huh? You're not even good enough to be. I'll my make fake. you eat those words. <laughs> I'll make you eat those words you're before I even fake. hear what you say. You won't even get the chance. So basically, you gotta. I think the somersault is the best way to go here. The bad thing about that, though, is that the camera for the somersault sucks. Especially when you're near walls. So you're not darn. Not bad for an imposter. Do you know Not bad for an imposter. I love this. This is back when... <laughs> I mean, I don't know if he said it at any point during that, but Shadow was like, I am the coolest. It's just like, Shadow isn't really portrayed that way anymore. He's kind of portrayed as, ooh, I'm a big brooding hedgehog or whatever. But back in the day, when he was originally introduced, he was just supposed to be kind of an arrogant dick like Sonic is. It's interesting. Characterization marches on, I suppose. Why isn't he moving his mouth? I guess it could be argued that he's just thinking that, but I don't know. For some reason I don't buy that that's anything but a mistake. Mainly because this game is full of them. Jesus, okay. Fuck the upper path, I'm just gonna move forward. 
Yeah. Tripping over everything around here. There we go. Eh. I don't really get what threat those big spiky guys pose, because most of your attacks don't cause you to hit them in the first place. And I mean, you get hurt by just touching them, so why do they need to have spikes on the top? Eh. There we go. Jammin'! Yeah! Jammin's worth a good 400 points. It's worth a six pence, whatever the fuck that means. If you're British, like, comment, and subscribe and tell me what that means. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying the new, the new expanded solo stuff on this channel, by the way. Because right now we got Link to the Past still going on, we got uh, Octodad on Wednesdays, we got Sonic Saturdays for Solo Saturdays. Jesus. I'm sliding all over the place. It's jittery. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the new expanded Whitey solo schedule. I felt bad, because for a while I was doing only my co-op stuff with Red, and that's all I uploaded for the longest time. And, I mean, back when I started my original Let's Play channel, I did it so that I could relax and play games by myself. I love playing the co-op stuff with Red, don't get me wrong. But, at the same time, I like doing this stuff by myself, too. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's fun in a unique way that doing co-op stuff just isn't... It isn't the same. It's good in a different way. Anyway, so... Just wanted to expand the schedule. Plus, Red and I were talking about how we want to have one upload per day. So doing three solo things and four co-op things a week means that we have a full schedule of seven days a week. We've got Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays as Red and Whitey co-op stuff. Well, co-op slash versus slash challenge stuff. And we got Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays for Whitey solo stuff. And maybe if he wants to, later on, Red can take over a slot too. You know, he can start uploading some of his solo stuff if he ever wants to do some again. I don't know. He doesn't seem to be a big fan of solo Let's Playing. I think he's in it for the co-op, you guys. Oh god, did I really die just then? Wow. I just lost my good grade. I was probably going to get a C or so on that level before that. Oh well. Like I've said plenty of times before, if you want to watch someone who's good at playing games, go to a different channel. Because this is not the place for that. At Dual Wield Gaming, we relax and play our favorite games. We don't get all worried about whether we're good enough at them. Eh, there we go, okay. See, I was so close that one time, too. And I end the level with 1,070 points. Shit. I'm lucky if I get a D. Nope. Barely made it. I'm not lucky, apparently. No luck for me. Man, we're blazing through this game. That was stage what? Like... <laughs> This little pre-rendered Dreamcast cutscene that they couldn't scale up, of course, because that would be way too much work. That would require rendering a whole new cutscene, I'm sure. In a mountainous region. Oh shit, are we already at Pumpkin Hill? Oh, you guys are in for a treat with this music. I love the Pumpkin Hill theme. feels haunted. There's no time to lose. I have to hurry and find the Master Emerald. God, this game is hilarious. I'm sorry. Okay, so now we can dig into walls and... We're gonna go around and find pieces of the Master Emerald again. This is where the Emerald stages start getting a little more tricky. Because there's so much ground to cover. You know, in the first one, Wild Canyon, the first Knuckle stage, there really wasn't a whole lot of space to explore. So pretty much anywhere you you went, you were going to set off your radar at least a little. But around here in Pumpkin Hill... Uh, by the way, the Emerald locations, I should say, they're randomized. So, I mean, there are always set places where they're going to be, but it's different every single time you play. Obviously not every single time, but it's randomized so you don't know exactly where they are. There's not a, solu a, a proper solution every time. And I did awesome. Which is not as good as perfect, but it's still good. It's hard to get the perfects. 
when I've seen like speedrunners do this game, well not, well yeah, speedrunners do this game, they're able to get perfects on everything, and I don't, I don't understand how that's possible. I mean, I watched it and I saw them do it, but I still don't know how. You know, how in the larger sense? Ew, those are gross big spiders. I never noticed that. Yeah. But I never understood how they were able to do the knuckle stages and the rouge stages so fast. Okay, so it's somewhere in the middle around here. Fuck off, ghost. You miniature boom boo you. You can see it, but you can't take it. The fuck does that mean? Oh shit. Aha! Oh, okay, that rocket over there. Get us into that cage. If we can make the camera stop freaking out on us. Tight. I love it when things are tight. And that's not a sex joke. Despite <laughs> all evidence to the contrary. I swear we'll visit the Chow Garden again later. I know I've been skipping the keys, but I just don't want to break up the episodes quite yet. We'll get into that stuff some other time. We'll probably dedicate a few episodes just to Chow stuff here and there, so... Right now I want to focus on getting some story stuff done. Story in the biggest, boldest quotation marks that exist, of course. Okay. Must be somewhere over here. Because this is the only place where I haven't really explored. I think. Eh. Wait, is this the same... This isn't the hill with the steeple on it, is it? With the church. Is it? No, it's not. Okay. But where the fuck is it? Let's get a hint. King of the Hill. Oh, fuck. Hank Hill has stolen the Master Emerald, you guys. He's gonna hold it hostage. He has a Strickland of propane, and he's gonna use it to brew some of the most potent propane ever if we don't stop him. Where are we going? Like, I get what King of the Hill means. It means on the top of a hill, obviously. But, oh shit, you asshole. Die now. But which hill? I mean, I've been to the tallest mountain. You would think that King of the Hill would mean it's on the top of the tallest mountain, right? Under the car that fires a cannon. Okay. Under the car that fires a cannon? How can a car fire a cannon? I May mean, have something to do with the train? But I was just there and my radar wasn't going off. Shit. I feel so dumb. I f I'm not going to get a good score on this stage. I can tell you that right now. The fucking camera in these games is abysmal, by the way. In the car that fires a cannon. Oh shit. Keep getting all my rings knocked out of me. Can I have another hint? From the ghost train mountain glide toward the blue. Okay. So this is the ghost train mountain, right? So where's the balloon? Eh. I'm stuck. It's just like Octodad. Only not quite so stuck. Okay. Fly toward the balloon. What balloon? Do you guys see a balloon? Fuck. My radar hasn't gone off once for this emerald yet. Knuckles, will you get your shit together and start climbing? I'm not paying you to sit around just clinging to walls. You guys, where is it? This is no fair. Oh, there's the balloon. Okay. So we gotta glide. 
from other over here. Oh. I gotcha. So he's the king of the hill, this tank over here. It's closer. It's not Hank Hill as we previously thought. There we go. I found him. Alright, well we're gonna go ahead and end things here. And we'll see you guys next time in part <laughs> I've already not started losing bad. track of the parts. Uh, next time will be part either four or five. Well, either way, it'll be another part of Sonic Adventure 2. We'll see you guys next time. Actually, fuck, we'll just go ahead and watch this cutscene first, I guess. Lend me your ears and listen to me, America. My name is Dr. Eggman, the world's greatest scientist, and soon to be the world's greatest ruler. Now witness the beginning of the greatest empire of all time. <laughs> That's some nice dubbing there. And again, this game was made in America. I guess maybe the lips are still synced for Japanese voices for some reason. I have no idea why they would do it that way. But I guess it's feasible. Oh, cutscenes. You're always getting in the way of me ending episodes when I want to. And he's using his Death Egg Cannon aboard the Space Colony Ark to destroy the moon! To demonstrate his awesome power. Man, that would fuck shit up. I love how it's molten on the inside. Either that or the cannon made it that way. Like it kind of melted some of the rock, I don't know. I don't know if the implication is supposed to be there, I guess, but... I don't think that they knew much about the moon when they made that cutscene. Look! Half of the moon is gone? <laughs> Indeed it is. Eggman! Oh, that creep never gives up. <laughs> that creep blowing up the moon. That that's the strongest word you have for someone who just destroyed a vital part of our lives. Yeah, that's the reason they were looking for him. Tails? He cast emeralds are like madmen. They have the power to attract each other. <laughs> I can use that to find what Eggman is. Come on, cutscene, will you end already? Oh well. Whatever. Enjoy your nice, extra long episode, you guys. I just hope the file size isn't a problem here. <laughs> oh, Amy. And for some reason this transitions into a Knuckles episode. No, no, this is Mission Street. Okay, then it's a Knuckles. Not a Knuckles episode, but a Knuckles stage. Alright, well thanks for stopping by. We'll see you guys next time. Preposterous Whitey signing off.